it's about women's courage the best protection for any women can have the best protection any woman can have is courage said elizabeth cady stanton born on 12th november 1815 in new york died on 26th october 1902 in new york was an american writer an activist who was a leader of the women's rights movement in the us during the mid to the late 19th century protection for any women can have is courage and that is deep down embedded with every woman and to know what is courage you have to be to know your enemy you have to be friendly with the enemy to know your courage is best for the women to be with the men women have been separated men have been separated in two different blocks and you can always keep telling that the men never gave us opportunity what i found is if they are in the midst of the men you automatically do not have to think about courage or facility or more oh, ideas it comes of its own whether it is in london or in australia or in uh, japan what i found is whenever we go there when i was young i was talking we youngsters used to sit and talk against that country we entered england we entered uh, australia we sit there and talk against that country the only one country i found was japan whenever we are all sitting always we find every everything we find fault in that country because we suddenly start thinking that the country which we came the, our food was good our culture was good our girls were good all those things but in japan i found wherever foreigners are there they send japanese girls and japanese girls sit and they also sometimes encourage us to talk against the japanese but later on we find difficulty to talk or go against maybe they coming there as spies but government has made sure that everywhere where foreigners are there girls have been sent and slowly slowly we started loving that country loving that culture oh yes they got the courage yes by being in the midst of us they converted us without converting us we didn't know they are converting us they started talking everything what we said was right for them for the japanese girls but later on we slowly started thinking everything what japanese was doing was right because of this girl yes. <laughs> the best protection any woman can have is courage and from where the word courage came courage is your focus on your feminism once uh, indira gandhi was called for the women's liberation movement and she said whatever men is doing you are asking for equality whatever men is doing if you do do you think you get equality you are much above and more powerful than them that you are not realize you are asking for equality because men were drinking and you drink do you think that is equality men were smoking and you smoking do you think that is equality men leave the houses go sit in the bar without taking care of the house do you think that is equality men were not even taking care of rain rain water house solar wind energy and trying to grow organic vegetables around the house protecting the house building up the house building an extra shed into the house extra room for the house electrical plumbing sanitary masonry painting etc men comes and throw some money yes and you think if you go in the man men's way you get more courage no you get more respect courage comes from your focus on what body god has given you if you are a feminine yes deep down femininity has helped many to be called the mother earth my mother my maha yes that is the courage the courage to love they are to, uh, to they have taught you how to hate men they have taught you how to hate anything and everything this touch that touch that talk this talk be in the midst of the men there is no distouch at that it's only love love blooms love moves oceans and mountains and in that moment of the oh, 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 giving wave when the oceans and mountains give way means that in that path is only love love is so powerful the best protection any woman can have is courage practice the sanskriti to the deepest core 
and any man will follow any society will follow any rules will follow your path nobody will talk back the moment you don't practice you look into others and try to copy it's the same for anything and everything when you start copying then that was not courage when you trying to show off that was not courage but when you share with love you don't even have to share people come and take the share and you feel happy to give them you never said aditi devo bhava in india that is not from men's part aditi devo is from the women's part yes in india women any time and every time any relatives can walk in without relatives or friends can walk in without an appointment and non stop they give them to eat take care of them please stay please take bath please stay for one more week they never ask him to help them but then the relatives and friends automatically help that was the courage that courage withstood the invasions the poverty but to be a little more clearer a little more creative the invasions of 600 years under the muslim rule 200 years under the british rule and now under the corrupt groups as forced the people to sit inside they were not being able to become more creative that creativeness is called courage to say yes is yes and to say no is no the only one way the best protest any woman can have is to be the mist of the men yes sit next to the man bum to bum if the man says they are going in the main road to sit and discuss politics go and sit there and discuss politics they will not sit <laughs> they come back home yes i know one of my friend who was always drinking um, friend means one of my good uh, patron's son was always drinking and drinking and drinking one day the uh, wife decided he was drinking when he came home he saw her opening the bottle and drinking he was shocked house was not clean children were not taking the one day pass two days pass third day pass third day he went and begged here and fell on her feet and said please i have stopped drinking you let us start doing housework yes so i'm going to be in the midst of your enemy and you can overpower the enemy the enemy is not the man but the enemy is inside you that you hate you go with the bookish knowledge of going around and trying to tell that somebody is looking at you somebody is looking at you, somebody wants you no 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 don't go and tell that somebody wants you somebody looking at you when the whole world looks at you you feel more courage because you are doing the work when you're not doing the work you think they're trying to grab you when they're trying to grab you you know you have not done your homework your samskriti so you are frightened that they are trying to grab you and um, destroy you when you think on that way then you don't have courage that when you love your own body when you love your own work when you love your own feminism you can see only people loving but we in the midst of the crowd talk to them laugh with them give as much love as possible and in that love you can see only courage because love shows you the shows you the path of courage yes love opens varieties of interpretations of courage because every word when you speak the crowd listens to you in fact they will push you to talk forward especially the men in the community elizabeth cady stanton said the best production any woman can have is courage so be courageous that is women's courage that is where the whole world called ma mother earth